Again, the House voting uh, measuring comfortably so here. Small business reaction now with uh, Dover Group CEO, uh, but Jamali Job Creators Network CEO Alfredo Ortiz. Alfredo, to you first. I mean, uh, yes, this sir. was the easier lift. Uh, the, the one is uh, in the Senate could be more problematic. But of the package you see, at least out of the House, what do you, what do you think? Yeah, Neil, thank you. Uh, both packages actually are great uh, overall. I think they do uh, an amazing thing for small business owners. For 31 years, they've been uh, overtaxed, and it's due time that we see this. It's amazing to see this history being made today out of the House, for example, uh, you know, giving these breaks to small business owners. And I know on the Senate side, as you said, it's probably going to be a little bit of a heavier lift. I know uh, Senator Johnson gave us a little bit of a surprise last night. Uh, but one thing, uh, Neil, I want to point out, if you look at the Tax Foundation and you look, for example, just at the Senate bill for a second, about 97, almost 97 percent of small businesses out there, of the 29 million small businesses out there that file those pass-throughs, uh, about 97 percent of them have business incomes of less than half a million dollars. Hmm. And so, you know, you cover about 28 out of the 29 million small businesses on the Senate, uh, you know, bill alone. All right. You know, you look at this, uh, but you know, one of yeah. the reasons why in the Senate, you have a, a no vote so far from Ron Johnson, the Republican of Wisconsin, is that it didn't benefit businesses like 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 like, like your, yours, and then that the the big guys get all the goodies, and you and you get the crumbs. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? Well, it's true. We get the crumbs because we're in the middle of everything. We're, we're not the smaller ones. We're not the big ones. We're, we're dead center, and for us to get. Any kind of good tax credit have to be, you know, through income tax and with business tax, and it doesn't seem to catch both at the same time. I'm more concerned with my staff's taxes because now they can't take the proper deductions, and they're going to have less disposable income to spend on catering jobs and food and going out to dinner. So I'm a little, you know, I'm a little mixed on this whole thing. Yeah, right. go ahead, Neil. If I if I could sure. interrupt for a second there, because I I'm not quite sure I, I quite under, follow what he's saying there, because when you look at both of the bills actually. And when you look at the amendments, for example, that actually just passed right now from Brady, you know, you're able to get 9%, 12%, 25% in rates under half a million, which is great. All right. And then again, the Senate bill has a big opportunity to do that as well. So we have, you know, we're really covering most of the small businesses here. We'd love to see a little bit better than the 17.4% deduction, for example, that's in the Senate bill. And we would like to see all professional services covered, um, not only after a certain amount. So I think there's some opportunity here. And, uh, you know, we're, we're looking forward to working with Senator Johnson and really getting them also to help them to get to a yes vote. But uh, I think he's going to come around as well on this. All right, guys, thank you uh, both very, very Thanks, much.